All right, this is, uh, we're, we're here today with Jonathan Poway. Jonathan is going to be running for CBC seat number four in the upcoming elections. Um, Jonathan, if you want to introduce yourself and give us a little bit of history. Yes, my name is Jonathan Poway, and I am a Comanche member, and I lived in southwest Oklahoma all my, most of my life. Uh, I really see the need for a lot of help with the Comanche Nation and all the Comanche people around, not only in our immediate area, but throughout the nation, the New Mexico, Texas, wherever Comanches live, they should be able to get help if they need it. Um, I have um, education. I've, uh, Need 20, 20 more hours to get my degree, which I'm working on currently. And I have an associate's degree, degree in business, but I uh, I have a a true numb heart, and I was raised with true numb values. My grandparents on my mother's side that. Our family was a matriarch family. Her parents couldn't speak English. Her dad earned his name in battle, and her her mother had mourning scars on her forearms, and that's all she knew was how to be a, a number nine. And she instilled that in each one of us. That's why I feel the need to, to run for the CBC at this time to help our nation get back on its feet and become Numina again. Thank you. Ta-da. It's my understanding that you are in part charge of Comanche Word of the Day? Yes. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that. What do you do? Okay. Comanche Word of the Day is a, a, a group on Facebook. And I post the words of the day uh, with a, a picture and the pronunciation with the Comanche alphabet. And I break the, the, uh, the word down into syllables and pronounce each syllable and then the word again. And it, it started out as just somebody volunteered me to do it. And, but, I was working on trying to get some videos done where the it would break down the words and syllables to make it easier to, to learn and understand the Comanche alphabet and the sounds of the Comanche alphabet. And it, it's, I don't like to brag on, on myself and I'm, and I'm not, and, but, but there's a lot of people that, that really, really like it and, and uh, we have like almost 800 members on there and everybody says it they learn a lot from breaking it down into syllables as i do on there okay um all right we'll start off with the questions question number one what are your complete qualifications to be the comanche nation cbc seat number four person as i said before I'm, i am a member of the comanche nation and there is a, a dire need for for upgrades in, in all our Comanche uh, programs and help that they offer and the way that they offer help and getting the help out to all the people in need, all the Nimina, wherever they live in the United States or, or any foreign country, anywhere. We need to get help to all those that need help. And uh, my educational background I have an associate's degree in, in business right now, and, and most of my classes and hours were focused on accounting. So with all, my, most of my classes being in business, that, that's what my thoughts are geared toward, toward in building a stronger business sense within our nation, because we do have a multi-million dollar operation and we we need to to treat it as such 
and uh, I said uh, there, there's just so many people that need help and, and we need to get the help out there for them. Okay. Um, where do you see the tribe financially in three years? In, in my honest opinion, I think three years is, could be enough time, but we're right now at this point, I think we're starting, we'll have to start from scratch because our nation is in such, such a dire financial need for, for business minded people to get our tribe back on its feet to where we can have many entities working toward the common goal of supplying resources and services to our Comanche people. When I say we're starting over from scratch, we need to train all our departments more intensely, train all our employees with uh, not just more training, but better training. Better training that will lead them to to help our people better, to better service our people that they really need the, the services provided by the tribe. And I think financially in three years, we, can, we could at attain financial stability if we get, I think we need outside auditors and have a just have a, a a better system within each department of every penny that goes through each department we need to have receipts and accountability for every penny that goes through the departments okay um many people have asked for and demand a tribal court system will you work to establish one and what are your what are some of the ideas that you have for the court system I really do think we do need a, a court system. We need to hold people accountable for not spending our money the way the departments are supposed to be taken care of, to take care of the people. That's what we're here for, is to take care of all our members of our nation. And we need to, to hold people accountable that, that don't do that. We need to bring, bring honesty back to our tribe to be Nemina once again. We were once the strongest nation in this continent. And we can't be the strongest nation if we don't know where our money's going. We don't know who's spending it. We, we just gotta get back to being on top. The Chickasaws are, are way far advanced. We could be right there with them if, if we have a court system to, to hold people accountable for watching over our money. That's, that's, the, that's the bottom line. We need to, to take care of our money to better serve our people. And with a court system in place, it'll help to keep people honest. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is your stance on the newly proposed, well, not newly, but what is your stance on the proposed 60% versus 40% revenue allocate, allocation plan? I think it goes back to the, the three-year. If we can uh, attain the 60% in a three-year a goal to attain it in three years, the any time, like I learned in, in business, classes is anytime you start a new business and that's essentially what we will be doing is starting over from scratch because our nation is in such a dire need for uh, restructuring if we can set that a goal to to reach 60 percent rat in that time period which has already been voted for voted in but we need to 
get our finances in order so we can deliver that 60% wrap. And if it's in three years, then then that would be great. If it's if it's in two years, that would be even better because I think we would need to get the 60% wrap and and increase even our per cap because there's people out there that can't make it up here some of them maybe once a year and some people can make it maybe once a month I don't, I, but there's a lot of people that live out of state that, that can't make it up here to the complex even biannually some of them maybe one one day like I said one day a year and they can't take care of all their business in one day so if we increase the per cap and and maybe give out a quarterly per cap even with the 60 percent wrap then then those people that live away from the tribe will be able to use that to to better themselves okay next question is <clears throat> earlier this year in the general council the general council voted out the economic development proportion of the budget actually didn't vote it out but took it out took the line items out uh, in 2005, in the 2005 revenue allocation plan, it says that 25% must go to economic development. What, what is your solution to that? Thoughts on it? Well, in my personal opinion, we need economic development, but we need a sound economic development system to where we can bring in entities and create entities to better our tribe, to better our services here. More income means more jobs for our nation, means more help to people that aren't able to work, aren't able to receive any kind of outside funds from the thigh ball world, or uh, it's just we need more entities. I mean, even truck stops or or anything that, that we own that we get 100% of the profit. That's what we need as a tribe. The more economic development we have, that sound, sound economic development, it will better serve our people in the future. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Then in the last report that we received that there were casinos, the, the, that all of our casinos employ fewer than 17% tribal members, meaning that out of their total, out of their total employee field, they seven, less than 17% are tribal members. What is your promise to the nation that this will increase and do you think that you can give us an estimate what you think you can get that number up to? Yeah, I think it, it's, it's, a very very bad deal to have that number that low we have what 15,000 16,000 tribal members and they need to be able to compete with with the uh, in the job market and they need to be have we need to have more employees with our Casinos. That's what they're there for. That's what, to me, that's what we built casinos for. Not for the money coming in. Of course, that helps, and it should be distributed to the nation. But it should also employ all our people. There is just no reason why we can't even reach it up to even 50%, and even more than that, 75%. I think we should.